Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to serve HTML files using the Node.js HTTP module, right? So let's start. So here, as you can see, I have made three different HTML file. First is that home.html, then about.html, and then 404.html in case of that the page is not found, right? Got it. Now after that, let's come to this script.js. Here we have written a small code that is for creating our server with the help of this HTTP module. Uh, with the this create server method, I have created the server and then made our server to listen to the port number 3000. And then there's a callback function, that's it, right? So yeah, now after that, let's start the thing. So one more thing that you need to import is that your file system module. So let's import that const fs equals to require fs like this right now after this when you import this particular module then come here and let file name let's make a variable and keep it blank right basically it is used to decide that which file to serve based on the url right now i will put some condition that is if request dot url request dot u url equal equals to basically your home page for that just slash right in that particular case you do what you make this file name as home dot html home dot html you can see here right so i am giving this particular name basically i am going to use it as the path Right. So basically, I'm giving this name to this uh, file name variable in case that we come to the URL that is on the home page that is slash. Right. So this is the small logic. Now after that, just uh, paste and uh, copy and paste it like this. And here I'll say that else else if the request URL is about in that particular case, you make the file name as about.html and in the end in the else condition you do what you make it that the file name equals to your 4.4.html right 404.html like this so this is the main three thing that we have done basically based on the url that you visit i am changing the file name right now after doing this now we will read and send the file right so for that we will make fs dot read file like this and uh, inside this we will write the path for this file name that we have stored it here right this one and after that put the comma here and give a callback function like this now inside this bracket parenthesis we will give two different parameters that is err comma data now if there is a error right that error will get catched inside this ERR and if there is a ERR then what we will do we will make response dot right head and inside of this we will give the status code as 500 and we will say that the content type as your uh, text slash plain right right because we are just going to give a plain message that response dot end that the server error right only in the case of server error, we cannot be able to read the file right and there is one more case that if your file is not present but we are not taking that case we are just simply writing here that the server error like this right there's some problem from the server side got it now after that just you make return right no need to go forward and in case that there is no such error is found in such particular case you do what you just send that particular data that you receive right so for that first we need to tell our browser that we are sending a html page right so for that purpose for that purpose uh, we need to put a small logic more i will show you that uh, we need to write response dot end response dot end put the bracket here now in the case if the file name is home or html then everything is good 
but if the file name that we are going to read is basically 404.html that means the status code will be 404 this time not 200 right so to deal with it we can write it like this that is file name triple equals to 404.html like this right so in case that the file name is 404.html in such particular case you choose the ternary operator and will say that the status code will be 404 else else it should be 200 if there's not the 404 HTML page is used right and then you just simply mention the content type right so content type is I'm doing something wrong here I need to check so response dot end is made good right we put the comma here and after that let's let's try let's see in the end that why it's not giving me the recommendation content type right and make it basically what text slash html right yeah and in the end just in the form of response you give this particular data right yeah like this so i hope you understood the concept till now right now let's 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 see that how we can uh make the next step that is while starting the server whether we are getting this particular file or not right so let's start so we will go to the terminal and now let's first close whatever we've been running earlier clear it node script dot js press the enter and yeah our server has started at the port number 3000 successfully now let's go to the browser and let's come to this and search localhost 3000 and press enter uh, I think I have not saved it before starting let's just close it and save again save and run it again so they, it should thrown an error what error is that the chunk that is a string okay so a small mistake that we were doing I, I was seeing that in the earlier also but uh, not found it there we were using write uh, response dot end here but it should be response dot write head right that's what we do for sending the information to the browser right now let's start the uh, server again let's just write node script dot js press enter yeah server has started now let's see since i saved it or not i just need to just make it correct right again start the server yeah now let's go to the browser and yeah you can see now i'm getting this html page here as a result so when i'm going to this home page that is localhost 3000 and it is uh, like default that there's a slash right then i'm getting this home welcome to the home page when i go to the about and press enter you can see it changed to the about basically it took me to the another html page and when i write anything random here or anything else than home and about then in that case i'm getting this 404 page not found right so this is how we are using different different uh, html files and dealing with it in the node.js http module and also use this fs module too right so this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching uh, we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye